Called is that why you were dancing with me? I, I, I was added driving in my car and uh, you know. Wow. <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> business. This is very business, guys. Very serious business. You're looking no, very no, dapper no. in your suit, it's, though. It's Griffin. Oh, Peter sorry, Griffin. Mr. Griffin. Mr. Griffin, mm. I apologize. You're looking very fresh in your suit, though. Let me lead you to the, to your seat. You may, you may sit right next to our friend, other shareholder, Aquaman. He's gonna fight me. What are you doing? Thank you, Mr. Listen, Griffin. I'm a valued stakeholder in this company, just like you are. Ah, yes, Harmony. Hello. Welcome to the Tortle shareholder meeting. If you don't want to hear the echo, go ahead and set your world volume to zero. Okie dokie, boss. No, 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 no. I, you are my boss. I am simply just the, the CEO. You are an esteemed shareholder if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I knew that. I was just trying to test you. Mr. Cade, welcome to the shareholders meeting. I also cannot believe you are a furry. I did not expect that. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. If Chortles not sell this presentation, he will be getting fired. Uh, as long as you have subscribed to the YouTube channel or followed the Twitch page, you are a shareholder for this big, serious shareholders meeting. I assume, you know, my colleague is already here. Drip, we were at the same meeting before this. I don't know what took you so long. Just saying, uh... Oh, we can barely see our shareholder Drith behind and um, uh, Mr. Griffin's incredible stature. All right. Stature, all right, yeah. Well, yeah, well, I have to change seats. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Them, like, that chair somehow <laughs> held weight. I don't want to, like, break in the chair, though. Listen, they Just make saying. good quality. They make good quality. It's a Herman Miller chair. It's a pretty good chair, man. Dude, they're very expensive chairs. Herman Miller chairs are very, very expensive. Oh, no! <laughs> Mr. Shareholder! Please! Yeah, let me help you out, let me help you out. No. Oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first annual Tortles shareholder me share f shareholders meeting, where we're going to have a very serious conversation about the state of the YouTube channel and, and why there's been zero content for the past two months. And it's not just excuses, I've included one or two funny meme pictures. Get all 10 brain cells, but before we start, I do have uh, some other important news. Over the weekend, one of our uh, lovely shareholders turned uh, one year around the sun. I do want to point it over to our shareholder, Aquaman56. Happy birthday, Mr. Shareholder. Congratulations. Mm, thank you. Um, I, 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 Portals, I, I do not see how this is appropriate toy for a shareholder meeting, though. This is very important and relevant because uh, Aquaman's 56's birthday party is where I worked on the majority of this presentation, so I felt the need to bring it up. Thank you, Mr. Shareholder. Is that why you were dancing with me? I, I, was I added hostile for you. I, I was dancing. What are you talking about? The nostalgia. I'm not. We. We're gonna have a conversation with You're HR later. You're supposed to be a drink, sir. You say you made me drink. I that is against policy. Drink policy. What do you think I am? I say. Uh, so the the first slide that we have here talking about our accomplishments. So over the past lifetime of the channel, we have accumulated 4,345 subscribers, and despite not uploading for two months, we got another 90 subscribers. Yes. Which Yay. is honestly surprising. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thing come, baby. VR mm -hmm. We love mm -hmm. green numbers. Wait, wait, wait. Why, why is that uh, yellow? That that is uh, the confetti. Don't don't worry oh. about. It. Don't, oh. Yeah, that's oh, just the confetti. Sure. Don't worry about that. That is conveniently yeah. placed. Don't even know what you're talking about. But that being said, <laughs> we do have to have a very serious conversation past what? the accomplishments. E because that's the only slide for accomplishments that I've got so far. Where has the CEO of Tortles LLC been? You know, I was taking care of this little one. Um, you know, I was on my way to the pet store, aka the wait, wait, gym, wait. Uh, driving in my car, and uh, you know, it was a uh, <gasps> good transition. It was yeah. a it was a pretty good pretty good accident, you know. That. But that being said, let's go over some facts and statistics because this might be actually kind of interesting interesting for some people who never ran a YouTube channel but kind of want to know what it's like running a 4,000 subscriber wow. YouTube channel specifically 
in VR content. And for the shareholders, these are very important numbers. We've amassed uh, 16,000 views, 500 hours of watch time, 90, you've seen those numbers before. Uh, but yeah, you even YouTube says I'm looking pretty good. So if YouTube says I'm looking pretty good, shareholders should be pretty happy. No, hey, it's, long as numbers, numbers, no. It's, it's good to keep consistency. As long as the no. number does not go down, you're good. Up. More. We have been seeing some. We got all some this else. evidence. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, I'll get to the revenue in just a second, Mr. Mr. Billy Tan. Mm -hmm. What, five cents? But before I do, I kind of want to showcase something legit kind of interesting. You know, all, oh, all the videos that I've posted so far, the hidden performers of Metaverse, some other stats. Oh, you, you can't see some of the... Yeah, that is a good point, Mr. Aquaman. So a lot of these videos, the hidden performers of Metaverse, inside underground parties, your first VR chat experience, underground raves, a lot of this is, um, yeah. The problem is these are all really old videos. Yes, yes, please, please take a seat uh, anywhere, Mr. Cream. So what are these discussions about? Oh, two seats. Right, there's Join us in the back. Uh, behind behind the the behind the the it's, it's a little bit bigger, but are you making fun of my weight again? I'm not, Mr. Griffin. You know, I think you, you know, are very big boned in. and very muscular. Turtles, so. I have a question. Yes, yes. As official shareholders in your YouTube channel, do we technically have group control over you and your YouTube channel? We've been trying this, but uh, That's a fair not point. sure yet. Um, I even have, though it is a shareholder is meeting, a... I still maintain majority stakeholder control, so... Uh, okay. so, so no, yes. Then no, I, no, I but have, I get, we can be a hostile... I, I, would like to, I would like to make a petition hostile among us over. shareholders. Oh, what is the petition? Yeah. The petition is called Make Turtles Wear a Maidress Petition. I uh, that I actually agree. I, 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 second I, this. I agree. Uh, what the fuck? Second this. Yeah. No, not you too, Mojo. You're recording. Think about it. 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 Twirls. Think about it though. You get more views if you wear a maid dress. Just once. Just One time good bit. One bit. One time bit. Yeah, and we, we, we do a video. And we, wait, hold on, listen, miss me. We do a video with you going to Publix, getting publicly shamed. No. Yes. But but hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not I'm not completely dismissing the idea. Only on certain contingencies, which is uh, <laughs> the the numbers, the subscriber numbers have to go up first in order for you're you supposed to, to say we'll put a pin in that. Move. So, so it's a combination of my effort and the stakeholder's effort. Listen, this because otherwise get you it's just public shaming with no with Wait, no. Wait, I got I got to put effort in. Isn't that why I became a stakeholder? For you to do uh, all the work. It, yeah, we yeah, yeah, but you the money you to get those content. Just get people exactly. to subscribe, and then you know it's like a big Ponzi, but this it's like could get YouTube, people but it's to not subscribe. You don't call uh, it a Ponzi. Don't, you don't call it. I mean, business, business, corporate business. So back to the numbers. Yeah, one of my biggest. I guess internal complaints and something I've been um, struggling with is actually the fact that a lot of these videos are really old because some of the newer ones I made including the audience anarchy one some of the interview stuff like the Apple Vision Pro before it got released while the Apple Vision Pro did generate some sort of demand for VR related content it wasn't really enough to overtake my most popular video the hidden performers of the metaverse which I do want to note while the title and the thumbnail is clickbait it in my opinion is actually a very well done documentary about covering the more positive sides of the exotic dancing scene but that being said um there's some statistics that i want to show you for why this video is extremely popular but before that you know there, there's numbers estimated revenue over 30 days i generated 25 dollars which i think is very exciting Woo! Beautiful. Which means, Beautiful. Yeah. How much which means that goes to our us? videographer, Mojo, can upgrade from oh, cup man. noodles to shin ramen in a bag. <laughs> Alright! You can buy one VR chat avatar with a discount code. We're not yeah. made Congratulations, money. Mojo. You're you're less hungry now. Woo! Congrats, Mojo. Going on forward, some other facts and statistics is uh, another video just for comparison is this one 
the interview video, Do You Rip Avatars? You know, it's the Market Wars video, which I thought was pretty well done, talking about the differences <laughs> between Booth and Gumroad. And that yeah. video generated $4.11. So what? Mojo's back to cup noodles now, actually. Sorry, Mojo. Hey, he made a good choice including money. them. He made a good choice including the Mama Hinata avatars in the, in the thumbnail. Good choice. Yes, 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 yes. Because yes. there's three of them, and uh, one of them actually ripped it, and he said it was because he was poor, but he had full body tracking. So what do you think he's, he's poor? poor because he has choices. <laughs> Lies poor. <laughs> choices were made. You know, he, he had a very serious choice to make. Okay. But well, moving forward, this is actually another interesting statistic about the viewer retention rate on this video, which honestly, if you take a look at any Mr. Beast videos, they're like That's 80%. Pretty normal. But this one, you know, it's, it's like 50% going on to like 33%. So it's actually not bad for a VR related video. Yes, Mr. Mr. Tan. Whenever you're looking at this a chart like this, whenever you see a big dip, do you ever go back in the video to see what what happened right there to make people go, oh, I ain't watching this? Yes, yes, absolutely. I I do go back to the charts to look at the dip, and surprisingly, Boy, the there really isn't one in that one. There really, usually, you know, there really isn't. Usually, uh, the reasons why certain dips happen in VR chat videos is for two reasons. The first reason is they're yapping too much, and I need to cut their conversation time to be much shorter than oh, usual. Like, much, like much video? The second reason is actually I can only boil it down to avatar choice. Some people just don't like specific avatars. Question. Yes. <laughs> Did the desktop user wearing the golden retriever avatar doing the backflips, did, did her tension hold during that period? Ooh. He, uh, surprisingly, he had an uptick in retention. The he didn't seem oh. to enjoy the backflipping dog, even though I thought he mm -hmm. was yapping, the, the people seem mm, to love him. Which means I can't always trust my own feeling, which is why we are having the shareholders meeting to have this conversation, because you apparently... Don't mean, you know, like you so, right? It's just plateaus. Apparently, give I don't the people know what, what I'm doing. they want. I need to give okay. the people what they want. Seriously, though? You need a running gag. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay, you I, can, I, I can only keep up this thing that you, that you, I'm not, you know, ribbing on you so about being funny because we all know you're not funny. But, like, you know, I can't, I can only do so much, man. Damn. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> you are a shareholder, so your opinion is valid. <laughs> Thank you, shareholder, for your Thank you, shareholder. <laughs> I, I just got an email from Como. He makes a good suggestion. VR sex. Ah, uh, yes, yes, about, yeah. about uh, about VR sex. Oh, no. let's, email. let's go. Let's continue yeah, on. Open so up this to is a whole actually new um. Wait, Thirty-one thousand people saw the thumb thumbnail and title, which honestly, big number. I'm I'm actually pretty surprised. There's 30,000 people who saw a VR related interview video for a thumbnail and title. And then from there, there's a 6.2 click through rate, which means only 2K views and then watch time. And then you, you see the funnel that YouTube gives me. And so these are the statistics that I try to go through in order to determine whether or not a video idea is good or not, or even whether a thumbnail title is good, which most of the time I've been experimenting, but people seem to enjoy um this video very much like what is it about this video that generated 672,000 impressions versus the 30,000 11 percent click-through rate with 96k views and and then even then when you look into the funnel here it's 11.3 percent yeah. recommending my con wait hold on only 11.3 percent of people got recommended this video how are people finding this you video? viral buddy I went viral somehow, so I had to dig into some of the YouTube statistics to actually take a look at what is the reason that this video went viral? Did Were there a couple news articles? Yes, actually, or I think it was a Brazilian news article that showcased my video in an article talking about Metaverse <laughs> That's Performer. So cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Which I thought was That's really cool. interesting. We're going right. international, <laughs> boys. I'm going well, international. I'm going international. I'm going So I did a little bit more research, and then, um... <laughs> yeah, this was 82% of my traffic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this <week>. um, <laughs> that's cool. Maybe it was a bad idea to go international. <laughs>
the problem with it, with, it, with this terms of the swirls is that they're all age restricted, so you're not gonna be able to get any revenue off these. Yes, yes. I, in <laughs> fact, did not earn a lot of revenue from this video. I think this video, I think you guys saw earlier, only generated about $25. 90k views versus 3k views? I mean, it's still more money, but, I mean, Mojo's still eating cup noodles. He got demoted just now, unfortunately. So... Do better. <laughs> Sedge. Yeah, which which yeah. really makes me think when I when I go back to this type of content, like, is this my future? Do I really just have to make videos that cater to VR chat sex, VR sex, VR? Is that yeah. what's so inevitable I, for I, me? Yeah, 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 I'm sorry, Dortles. There's the harsh reality we live in. We all know it. We don't want to admit it. Uh, you have to make the pod. See, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 oh, Mr. Oh. Como, Mr. Como, welcome to <laughs> yeah. the uh, to the shareholders <laughs> right. meeting. Oh. Yeah, so the, so the YouTube algorithm mm. algorithm gods have decided that VR sex is the way to go, which brings me to uh, another interesting picture the the viewer retention rate after they realized they got clickbaited by an actual wholesome documentary very stark the difference end. compared to the uh booth and gumroad avatar w wars video you know it was pretty good it landed at 33 percent and this is a uh, number go down so even though certain mm -hmm. numbers went up some numbers went down Oh wait, what why did the chart go to 120 percent? Yeah, I was just thinking Boots. that. Yeah, how does that work? Really, it did. I mean, oh, oh, like, why? Said, but, why is this play? beginning parts of the chart like 120 percent? Because in the very beginning, five, ten seconds of the video, I have the only female exotic dancer doing this dancing and shaking her <laughs> butt. Oh. That is the only oh. clip of a female oh. dancer so doing you know, that in the video. Whereas so what you need the to rest do of the video is male you, exotic you, dancer. You need to switch that. You need to do like a TikTok style thing where on the like you need to do on the top is you talking and on the bottom is either uh you know you know little, super little super running first. guy or yeah some <laughs> supers or it's an exotic. You gotta dancer. appeal to the gen alpha. Just just put the exotic dancer at the What's, bottom the entire what? way through. The <laughs> it's gonna fucking skip into toilet mode. Immature it's gonna work every time. We not need them not the here. Club. Unfortunately, with the for the Twortles Incorporated, I strive for some sort of truth, right? Which is why I do a lot of investigative journalism videos, documentaries. You want a serious um response to the Twortles? Like a serious, serious idea? Sure. Okay. All right, all right. So honestly, I think you doing the whole going to different groups and trying them out and getting scoop on them could be a good series. Just saying. Oh, like I, I, I got a lot of a lot of, a lot of Oh yeah, like, a lot of a lot of creators like creators have tried to do it and they just yeah. dropped it. But like the point is like a lot of creators try it and they just drop because they you know, it, it doesn't. Honestly, I think if you were to stick to it and make it a running series, it'd be helpful for the community and it would help. Wow, it would be good, good. It's a nice niche to that no one has really gone into yet. I think that is a very valid concern. I I want to elaborate on that point and talk about it, but I will also want to throw it to the other shareholder, Mr. Drith. Hello. Thank you. Uh, I do like the concept uh, for my fellow share shareholder, like uh, diving into a specific niche for a, a set amount of time and uh, documenting your experiences on it. I, I also liked your video on the uh, the gym. Uh, maybe you could try like the gym one a for a couple of those dance lessons yeah. and make a video about that. Experience. Some more experience type based videos of specific niche communities, uh, which is or like a day in the what? life. Day in the life. Oh, a day so in the you life. guys are actually going a, uh, ahead of some of my other slides, so I want to throw it over to Mr. Tan. Hello, Mr. Freeman Tan. Hello. Uh, the, yes. We can run the YouTube channel. We don't need turtles. I, it looked like I was raising my <laughs> hand. I noticed that. Yeah, I didn't have my hand raised. It looked like oh. it. It looked like it. Right now, what I've been doing as I've been rehabbing it has been these things on Twitter called Spaces, which are similar to the Clubhouse app, but is actually more closely related to, I guess, live radio show podcasts where I can bring people up. It is something I enjoy doing, just chatting with everyone and learning about different VR projects. And there's smarter people out out there on the internet compared to me. Also, another interesting project that I'm working on, some of you guys may know this, some of you guys might not know this, but this is the first time I am announcing it publicly in a shareholders meeting as well as uh, on the YouTube channel. The 
The Tortles Spinning Decks Project. Yes. <gasps> There's Ooh. me. Yeah. Our beloved <laughs> shareholder, our shareholder is in of there. Drith in there, in the, in the corner. Wait, there are you is a DJ? Video, there is a video being That's worked so cool. on actively. I have right. some collecting <laughs> footage. <laughs> Because of every single year, I have made one big VR DJ related video, whether it was finding the raves or exploring it for the first time. And so this is the next evolution here. Tortles actually spinning decks. And Woo! this is the sneak peek of it so far. That is the public. Is the content we've been waiting day. for. This yes. is why you're the the is real. Next slide. So again, some of the challenges that I am facing as a creator, <laughs> which uh, I ah, think- Very straight to the point. Yeah, very, very, uh, you know, elaborate challenges. One, what kind of content to make, which I think so far we've discussed some of those points. Uh, yes, <laughs> we, can, just... we, can, we can fix this laziness issue. We're going to replace Twirtles with ChatGPT, Sora, all AI generated. Well, no, 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 Twirl Twirls is fine. It's the man that's issue. Oh, you're right. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Let's remove all the humanity <laughs> the from man. this channel. <laughs> the one that Twirtles is sitting on the shoulder. Oh, is he not of. just a spokesperson for the turtle? No, that's I Tortles. Assumed. I thought it was like a Ratatouille ah. situation. Apparently the Tortles lore, as it was established during the announcement of the studio, is that this turtle is Tortles and I'm just a human being who is not yep, Tortles. Yep, it's a Ratatouille situation. Yeah, me and Tortles. So this is... Uh, yeah. This is someone I mean, you need like to... Twirls is an old man, it's okay. It's so funny meme, man! My meme game is still pretty good! <laughs> It's like it's like a Gen One. Okay, I guess this meme didn't hit. <laughs> Gen One. <laughs> this is that's from that's from when memes were memes. You know what I mean? Okay. So, what are some of the opportunities that have presented to us? <laughs> right. <laughs> Become rich and famous. These are big, big opportunities, guys. And this is one of the reasons why I decided to make a VR-related channel in the first place. You know, first opportunity: become rich and famous. Who doesn't want to become rich and famous? That's crazy. So Not me. I just I just want to like make fun of you. I just want to be fat. And the second yeah. opportunity is that my friends and the shareholders could be paid in exposure. This is probably Woo! just totally not to reduce costs, by the way. Mojo, you might be able to order pizza instead of noodles. How do you feel about yes! this? Uh, the third opportunity Pizza's is that, uh, as you guys know, with the release of the Apple Vision Pro, Apple has invented VR, which is how we're inside oh, of VR chat. Yeah. So the VR industry is actively getting bigger, which means this, I feel like, is a moment in time to capitalize. Otherwise, I'm going to be susceptible to the unfortunate VR hell, which is VR strip club sex videos, which I don't want to make. Yikes. That's how it is, yeah. So if I don't establish myself, I guess, soon, and I can't get myself to eat, and I can't get my friends to eat, I think, wow, I fumbled the bag, unfortunately. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, am I getting food? Yeah, what? where's the food? No, yeah, yeah. Is, isn't this you a, is said, this a said friends getting, friends getting, you said, you said friends could eat. Guys, we're not is profitable this not catering. Catering. Is this not a catering? I can barely video? afford to feed Mojo. <laughs> I wonder what other videos under VR chat six. Mojo, can I, can I, can I have like, have like a, <laughs> a, 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 a <laughs> noodle? One each one noodle. Spatially computer. Can I just video. say, you know how you get that 10% retention? I'm one of those 10%. I believe in this company. I believe in you. <laughs> Thank, wow. Thank, thank you, um, you, you, you do realize we don't get more points we're sought for like sucking up, right? No, Mr. Griffin, please, please. please, please. Mr. Griffin, no, 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 no. This is, this is just another shareholder who's uh, very disappointed with his allocation. Sir, sir, please. <laughs> you might not be able to fit down way. that that stairwell. <laughs> 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 Content strategy, which brings me to you know addressing some of the challenges that we had earlier. The, these are some of the ideas that I had and have been cooking up for a little bit of time, as well as uh, things that I can do reasonably within a reasonable time, right? You know, I talked about some of the documentary videos and the video ideas you guys had, like us going around to different venues or communities and doing you know, like three, four days of filming, getting good at something and displaying it. So that those types of videos take a very long time. Like that's it's not a small project, unfortunately, as opposed to and the uh, shareholders. This is the reason why I wanted you guys here to to make a reasonable change within the business. Uh, 
long form videos, which I think people are interested in, which are the street interview content. Another idea is instead of very, very long documentaries of 10 to 15 minutes jam packed kind of content, instead, what if, what if some of these videos, instead of being jam packed, was actually a vlog series? or new series or you know slow steady growth over time and the example i could give to you guys would be the ryan trahan penny series where you know you didn't put all 30 ah. days in one video but over the course of 30 days you got to see him and his progression into the finale which was delivering a penny to mr beast and that got people engaged and interested in his journey so, so you're gonna that, deliver like a, a penny to two tupper uh, no, Tupper. Tupper makes oh. money. He works for VRChat. <laughs> How I delivered a Gumroad avatar to Tupper. So, so street interview videos and vlog videos to me feel very reasonable to do because I could record a street interview video and start working on it the day of because I know who I talked to, what were the funny parts, and I only have to go through about two to three hours of footage. And Mojo, my camera person, can attest to the fact that these interview videos don't really take that long. Like, we, we're just running around the Great Pug, going, talking to people, asking them what's up, getting their opinions. Some people are funny, some people aren't, but that, that's pretty much it. If you're going to be doing the podcast, the, the spaces, the four spaces, and also, can you also multicast the space and also to record a thing in vr and that way once you basically use spaces and you chop it up and use the content for shorts it is possible but there is one very very limiting factor for that and i is a very simple limiting factor i'm in my work office at work when i'm hosting spaces <coughs> ah. well that, that, that's the issue in it which brings you full body setup to your work would require office. for me to quit my job which um do it then, then can't do that. it would just not exist because i have no money yeah yeah no you'll make yeah. money off of quitting your job i, I can test test it this is, uh, this is not work. i don't know about that one chief That's we're not, not there yet it's, 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 25 it's, it's, it's off of a VR sex video i don't think we're going anywhere just just yet. add first, more sex uh, vlog i quit my job to pursue vr content full time <laughs> the video right after, after day seven, i'm quitting <laughs> vr content i'm broke <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke. Please, <laughs> please fund my GoFundMe for my for my degenerate journey. What do you think Tortles is good at? Because as much as I think I'm good at specific things, from your from the shareholders' perspectives, watching the videos so far, what what do you think are my strengths? And what do you think kind of content is actually good? Because I think certain Attempting... content is good, but maybe you guys think differently. Yes, shareholder Como. You're pretty good at Gundam stuff. You're pretty good at what? trying to bring NFTs into conversations that didn't include NFTs. Oh, of course. <laughs> Have you guys heard of non-fungible tokens, by the way? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Keeping your own morality above, uh, like, overruling everything else. It does It does show through in your videos so far. I do like how enthusiastic and genuine you are with your videos without being, like, over the top. With, I don't know, clickbait, over-sexualization, etc. So even though that brings in the numbers, uh, I do like your videos for what they are as it stands. That does make sense. Thank you, shareholder Drift. Yes. Yes, your voice, Dan. Your, your voice is very unassuming, which I think gives you a strong strength in interviewing. And I think makes people feel comfortable around you and the way you speak. Like, they don't, you know... You just—it's a strength to interviewing, and I think you, I think you're—I think you're a good uh, interviewer. You have a very normal voice. What do you mean? You is sound like it? a normal person. If you guys are agreeing on that, then maybe that is something that I should just double down more of specifically. I think it's an yeah. interesting niche to have, while also <laughs> you just have good topics that are also relevant half the time. <laughs> Just to add to what Billy was saying, is that you're a great conversation holder, like, and you keep the conversation going. Can the Spaces shareholders, do, do you guys so agree with that take so far, based off of just the... <gasps> uh, uh, we just have fun so in the Spaces, I just like hanging out. You do let the hang out a bit though, but you know. I guess doubling down on the interview content makes the most sense. Yeah. I, I, think I think you, maybe I was you fit your niche that. very well. And uh, my index. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. Hey! 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 Hey!
content. That makes sense to me. You hear that, Mojo? We're running it back to the great pug. Whoa, 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 <laughs> yeah. whoa, 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 I did not whoa. say your pug. I did not say your pug. We did. I said we're going to the black cat, baby. That's not what I said. Oh, God, what is it? Let me see what you did. You did that.